Okay. So here's the front of the heart, the anterior side. Here's that groove we were talking about the other day, right? Interventricular sulcum, the groove. So it means this is all the left ventricle. And the right ventricle is smaller. You can press on it and feel that there's a chamber in there. It feels a little hollow. On the other side, here's that T groove marking the posterior. Does everyone see that? Okay. Remember, this is 3D. So the ventricle wraps all the way around to the heart, right? So draw and describe that. Follow step one. You have a big, they give you a lot of the, the aorta complex up here. This covers the atrium, it's an oracle. And this big structure here, this big thick thing is the aorta coming out of the top of the heart, going all the way up to here. All right? Other side. Other side. So there's like, there's a heart there. I don't know. Well, sometimes the heart is damaged for, I don't know how they collect it, but this it's just a little hole. That's all it is. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Interventricular groove. Okay. Open up your scalpel. This right here. Now you're going to use your probes to open it up and find the pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery. So let me get my second glove on. Okay. That's what these are for. So these are your probes, right? You also have some pins. You have your scalpel. On this, again, you have to open it up a little bit. It's a little squish from being packed. But this whole big, thick thing here is the aorta. That's how thick it is. All right. That continues all the way up here. Okay. And these thin things here, the veins are a lot thinner than the arteries. That's one of the pulmonary vessels we were talking about. See that? See how thin it is? Okay, now here's the posterior side. You can see how it goes down into this. You can use the scalpel to cut away some of this fat. Makes sense? You're going to have to do that. So let's keep that probe there so you can see just where it goes. But cut away some of this fat here. Make sense? Who's going to, who's going to do that? Okay, so your scalpel. Have someone hold the heart for you and then cut it. Cut this that off so we can see a little more what's going on. So here's the front of the heart. It's not going to be at the bottom. Remember, when you look at the picture, we're showing the back of the heart. Mm -hmm. Alright? So this whole big, thick thing is all the aorta up here. Okay. What's it? That's the way your scalp will go with this fat to help you out some. Okay. 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 This is going right into an atrium. That's this right here. So there's one of your probes. Okay, let's mark that. This whole thing is a pulmonary trunk. So with your step, of course, in the step, it's a little more. Make sense? Then we'll be able to, then we'll be able to locate the pulmonary. Oh, and yours 
little more attached to the nerves. You see this? Delta the nervous? See, so this is very thin, one of the veins. The probe there, the little bit, is much thicker. Look at this. Compare that thickness to this thickness. Look at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look the metal pen. Do some of the gunk off? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Good. So you expose something else down here. They gave you a lot more of the pulmonary trunk. Last year, this is this is mostly cut off, so I'm glad they have more for you guys to look at here this year. Let's take one of your probes. Let's mark what you just uncovered there. Make sense? So you have a vein. This is much thinner than the artery. See how thin it is? This is the big aorta up here. Look at that thickness compared to this thickness. See that? Okay, take a look at step two. It's asking about the vena cavi, right? Okay. Here's what the, what the vena cavi is. They're for both the veins. There's one big vein, but they take the blood back to the heart from the rest of the body, right? Okay. Here's another blood vessel. Here's another probe. Get that marked. All right. And when you open this up, you can see where these are going. Here's the vein of cavity right here, because it's not connected to the pulmonary trunk. It's going into the heart. Make sense? Okay. So this is your anterior side, this is your posterior side, and that's the vena cavi right there going into the heart. It's very thin compared to the aorta trunk up here. Right? Okay, let's see what you've uncovered. Put the scalpel down. So he's trying to cut off some fat. Yep, there's all fat on top of it. So this pig had a happy life. All right. And now he's, we can look at his heart. Okay. This is your anterior side. Your posterior side is here. Mm -hmm. We're looking for it's kind of buried in there. You see this? How thin it is? Mm -hmm. This is one of the vena cavi. Well, the cavi, that's a plural. So, this is the vena cavi going into the pig heart. Mm -hmm. right, here's one of your probes. See how thin it is? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's mark that. And you can just explore it now. This is the atrium right here. Okay. Or it looks like. What side of the heart is this? This is your the front side again. Or left side. And you're right, exactly. It's the left atrium. And it'll go down <clears throat> into the left ventricle. All right? This is the oracle, mm -hmm. oracle that covers the atrium. It kind okay. of expands a little bit, gives it some more room when it's full of blood. Normally, it's bigger when it's full of blood. But after, you know, it's all gone. It's been squished a little bit from being vacuum sealed. You just kind of imagine what this looks like beating. All right, we got more here. Okay. Okay. One's got that. Sound good? You guys have any questions? Okay. If you're finished with step two, go and take a look at step three. And we have about 10 minutes before we need to start shutting down for the day. So you can take your scalpel and start cutting into that groove, the interventricular groove.
That's part of the inner pericardium. We don't have the complete pericardial sac. That'd be a layer over this thing full of fluid to protect the heart. But we have part of it. That's that membrane on top of that. So when you're ready, when you've got all of step two done, go ahead and think about cutting into this so we expose some of the ventricle. We'll, have, we'll spend more time with this tomorrow, but I have a large knife up here to help you guys out. But just try cutting into this and seeing more of this myocardial tissue, more of the muscle tissue. Make sense? Right in that groove. And that separates the, the right ventricle, and I'm sorry, the left ventricle over here, and the right ventricle. Right? So we're still in the middle thing and this is bacteria. Because I just cut through it and it's still on it. Here's the front of the heart, the anterior side. Here's that groove we were talking about the other day, right? Interventricular sulcum, the groove. I mean, this is all the left ventricle. And the right ventricle is smaller. You can press on it and feel that there's a chamber in there. It feels a little hollow. On the other side, here's that T groove marking the posterior. Did everyone see that? Okay. Remember, this is 3D. So the ventricle wraps all the way around to the heart, right? So draw and describe that. Follow step one. You have a big, they give you a lot of the, the aorta complex up here. This covers the atrium, it's an oracle. And this big structure here, this big thick thing is the aorta coming out of the top of the heart, going all the way up to here. All right? Other side. Other side. So there's like, there's a heart there. I don't know. Well, sometimes the heart is damaged for I don't know how they collect it, but this it's just a little hole. That's all it is. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Interventricular groove. Okay. Open up your scalpel. This right here. Now you're going to use your probes to open it up and find the pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery. So let me get my second glove on. That's what these are for. So these are your probes, right? You also have some pins. You have your scalpel. 
On this, again, you have to open up a little bit, it's a little squish from being packed. But this whole big thick thing here is the aorta. That's how thick it is. All right. That continues all the way up here. Okay, and these thin things here, the veins are a lot thinner than the arteries. That's one of the pulmonary vessels we were talking about. See that? See how thin it is? Okay. Now here's the posterior side. You can see how it goes down into this. You can use the scalpel to cut away some of this fat. Make sense? You're going to have to do that. So let's keep that probe there so you can see just where it goes. But cut away some of this fat here. Make sense? Who's going to, who's going to do that? Okay, so your scalpel. Have someone hold the heart for you and then cut it. Cut this fat off so you can see a little more what's going on. This is going right into an atria. That's this right here. So there's one of your probes. Okay, let's mark that. This whole thing is a pulmonary trunk. Mm -hmm. With your scalp, it goes into the scalp a little more. Make sense? Then we'll be able to, then we'll be able to locate the pulmonary oh, And yours is a little more attached than yours is. You see this? See how thin it is? You, this is very thin, one of your veins. Put a probe there. The aorta mm -hmm. is much thicker. Take a look at this. Compare that thickness to yeah. so this thickness. I can see it through this. metal pen. Yeah. <laughs> you see the gunk off? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Good. So you expose something else down here. They gave you a lot more of the pulmonary trunk. Last year, this is this is mostly cut off, so I'm glad they have more for you guys to look at here this year. Let's take one of your probes. Let's mark what you just uncovered there. Make sense? So you have a vein. This is much thinner than the artery. See how thin it is? This is the big aorta up here. Look at that thickness compared to this thickness. See that? Okay, take a look at step two. It's asking about the vena cavi, right? Okay. Here's what the, what the vena cavi is. They're both the veins. It's one big vein, but they take the blood back to the heart from the rest of the body, right? Okay. Here's another blood vessel. Use another probe. Get that marked. All right. And when you open this up, you can see where these are going. Here's the vein of cavity right here because it's not connected to the pulmonary trunk. It's going into the heart. Make sense? Okay. So this is... Your anterior side with your posterior side, and that's the vena cavi right there going into the heart. It's very thin compared to the aorta trunk up here. Right?
Okay, let's see what you've uncovered. Put the scalpel down. So he's trying to cut off some fat. Yep, there's a little fat on top of it. So this pig had a happy life. All right. And now he's, we look at his heart. Okay. This is your anterior side. Your posterior side is here. Mm -hmm. What we're looking for is kind of buried in there. <coughs> you see this? How thin it is? Mm -hmm. This is one of the vena cavi. Well, the cav that's a plural. So, this is the vena cavi going into the pig heart. Mm -hmm. right, so here's one of your probes. See how thin it is? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's mark that. And you can just explore it now. This is the atrium right here, okay. or it looks like. What side of the heart is this? This is your yeah. front side again. Or left side. And you're right, exactly. It's the left atrium, and it'll go down <clears throat> into left ventricle. All right. This is the oracle, mm -hmm. oracle that covers the atrium. It kind okay. of expands a little bit, gives it some more room when it's full of blood. Normally, it's bigger when it's full of blood, but after you know it's all gone. It's been squished a little bit from being vacuum sealed. You just kind of imagine what this looks like beating. All right. Here we got more here. Okay. Okay. Everyone's got that. Sound good? You guys have any questions? Okay. If you're finished with step two, go and take a look at step three. And we have about 10 minutes before we need to start shutting down for the day. So you can take your scalpel and start cutting into that groove, the intraventricular groove. That's part of the inner pericardium. We don't have the complete pericardial sac. That'd be a layer over this thing full of fluid to protect the heart. But we have part of it. That's that membrane on top of that. So when you're ready, when you've got all of step two done, go ahead and think about cutting into this, so we expose some of the ventricle. We'll, have, we'll spend more time with this tomorrow, but I have a large knife up here to help you guys out. We'll just try cutting into this and seeing more of this myocardial tissue, more of the muscle tissue. Make sense? Right in that groove. And that separates the, the right ventricle, and I'm sorry, the left ventricle over here, and the right ventricle, right? <laughs>
see what we can see. Make sense? So we cut down that, that groove that separates the ventricles. This is all muscle tissue. All right. If we cut going here, then we start cutting into the left ventricle, which you can see. Continues into here. Make sense? Now we'll go up into this atrium up here. This is an article covering the atrium, right? So what we want to do is cut up here. So you open up the right ventricle. So now you have the right ventricle. That's the wall thickness. Compare it to the thickness on the left side. See that? Okay, so you try cutting a little bit. Be careful. I made the big cut for you. Open up more the right ventricle. Open, open a little more of the left ventricle so you can see what's going on. Be careful when you cut up here that we don't damage the atrium or oracle. So we, we want to be able to see how they connect. And we'll see how the all the arteries and veins connect to those chambers. Make sense? You got the right part? Very good. This is still we open up to the right ventricle. And that's all this inside. Okay. All right. Okay. You have a little more, you have more fat in your heart, and there's also, you also have more of a membrane, pericardial membrane, underneath the fat. So it's a little harder to see than the other one. But here is the right ventricle. That's the thickness of the wall. And if you look, it connects up here to the atrium over here, the auricle. That's, that's what covers the atrium. Okay? You have some more veins. This is the vein connecting. These are heart strings. And over here on the left side, you want to see how much thicker it is. Okay, this is the left ventricle. See that chamber? Mm -hmm. You can see how thick the wall is? It's all myocardial tissue, myocardial, that's muscle tissue. So you talk about the thickness of the chambers, all right? And just be careful. When you make cuts, try not to cut all the way up here because then you're, you might damage the auricle, covers the atrium, and some of the pulmonary trunk, okay? Like up here is the aorta complex, mm -hmm. all right? So open up a little more by using your scalpel. Don't worry about putting to the wax. It's, it's a little stiff because it's been in the refrigerator all day, so it's not going to stick to the wax all that well. Okay, just be careful, guys. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. again? Okay. So I have to measure. Thank you, I'm not recording. Oh, I pop. Be careful, guys. We don't want to cut it all the way to the top, correct? Like, See? You're, you're here at the top. Okay, so then. Deeper. This, yeah, it's all the top. Okay. So, what you have here, that's all the left side of the heart. Okay? okay. I'm sorry, yeah. this is the right side of the heart. So, this wraps around like this. That's all the right ventricle. All right. So where's one of your probes? So this was, goes back together. This is the left side of the heart, right? Mm -hmm. On the right side, with the right ventricle, 
let's open it up and get to that atrium here. Now this here This is one of the vena cavi. It's a very thin vein going to the right atrium. So I'll put the pin through there and see how it connects down to the atrium. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And this, these cords go down into the ventricle. Okay. Okay. The rest of the ventricle is on this side of the heart because remember it wraps around. Okay. So more the right side of the heart. Would be here. Make sense? Mm -hmm. This is also the right ventricle. Okay? Mm -hmm. Side. Oh, sorry, the front side, the anterior side. All right, this is all the left ventricle. See how thick that wall is? So the myocardial tissue is muscle. This little, this thin little membrane on top, you see this white layer? See that? That's the inner part of the pericardial membrane. The heart will be covered in a big sac filled with fluid, and that part's gone, the rest of the pericardial sac. But you still have this membrane covering the rest of the heart, covering the muscle. Make sense? So that's, little, that's that thin little layer there. Just like a periosteum on those chicken wing bones, it's a thin little membrane. Okay, on this, the right side of the heart, that's all the right ventricle. That goes up into the right atrium, which is going up to here. And let's find the vena cavi, which is very thin. Remember, veins are thinner than arteries, right? Okay. It's a little bit collapsed. But that's this business here. I'll use a probe. You see this? That vein? How thin it is? That goes to the right atrium. See where the probe's going? See that? Okay, now it goes to the right ventricle. And where does the blood go from the right ventricle? Does it go into the whole body? We have two choices, right? Blood can go up to the lungs, or blood can go out to the whole body, right? So what ventricle is putting blood up to the lungs? The right side or the left side? On the right side. So when you think about that and think about why this chamber, the right chamber, is a lot thinner than the left chamber. Does that make sense? This one's a lot more muscular. Now on this side, take a look at where everything connects with the aorta. Which is here. Alright. This valve is going up to the aorta. which we can see, I'm going to poke all the way through, so we're poking through an artery wall, all right, and that continues up to the aorta. See that? This is part of the left ventricle, and it opens up, going all the way up to the aorta, all right? So when you just catch what you see, open up more, the, open up more of the left ventricle, see all these heart strings, and you, you cut up part of the valve, but this valve connects it to the atrium. And whenever the heart pumps, these valves open and close because these strings are moving when the heart pumps, the tendons. Sound good? Okay.